Hey everyone, hope you're all well. I just got back from doing some shots with both the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 Pro, so I can do a comparison test to see whether the new features like the bigger sensor and the bigger aperture and the 150 megabits uh, recording actually make footage better in real life or not. I tried to keep the test as fair as possible by shooting similar shots at the same time of day as well as using manual mode and without ND filters as I haven't received any for the Mini 3 yet which means cranking up the shutter speed to crazy amounts. Now let's start with some standard daytime shots and then we can move on to sunset shots afterwards. So obviously with the Mini 2 it only has the natural profile but with the Mini 3 I started shooting in decent alike as I wanted to show you the best footage you can, you're able to capture with the, each drone. Now looking at all the clips I can definitely see some difference in terms of clarity and sharpness with the Mini 3 Pro expectedly outpacing the Mini 2. It's clear to see that the Mini 2 doesn't do as good of a job rendering the trees and bushes here, but the shots are still very, very usable. Now, don't get me wrong, the Mini 2 more than holds up his own here, especially in bright daylight, and you can definitely get some amazing footage from this little beast, like I have done over the past year. Now, I'll link some of my cinematic videos in the description for you to check out on uh, what can be achieved with the Mini 2 if you want to see those below. But ultimately, and as you would hope, being twice the price, the Mini 3 Pro delivers visibly better footage, and after grading the decent alike footage, you can see that the difference is clearly visible. Now let's look at some sunset shots. Okay, so it doesn't look very sunsetty, but uh, it was a fairly cloudy day, and any later, and the Mini 2 wouldn't have handled it very well. Here we can see a bigger difference in quality. The picture coming from the Mini 3 Pro is much sharper, with more details in both the shadow and the sky. Take a look at the grass in these side-by-side -side comparisons. You can easily see that there is more detail in the Mini 3 Pro videos on the right compared to the Mini 2 on the left. With the decenter like profile allowing more room to maneuver in the edit, you can definitely get some quality shots from this thing in low light scenarios. Note that I said low light and not no light, as I've seen some YouTube videos where they get unhappy when low light tests include shots that have street lights or still have a hint of sunlight in the background. We all have to remember that uh, the darker scenes are notoriously difficult to capture even on Hollywood level rigs and these mini drones have very tiny sensors in comparison so you won't get clear night shots. But for what the Mini 3 Pro is, DJI has created a very capable camera that you can definitely get decent shots out of. I've heard that the Autel Nano Plus is the so-called king of low light in drone terms, so I might look to get one of those at a later time. Let me know your thoughts on the footage quality and uh, if you think the Mini 3 Pro deserves the Pro label. I'll be doing more of these tests to see if the Mini 3 Pro is a worthy upgrade or even if you are looking for your first drone, is it worth getting the Mini 3 Pro or should you look at something like the Mini 2 instead? Next, check out this video where I go through my first impressions after my first flight and smash that sub if you've got any value from this video. Until next time, stay safe, stay creative.